In this video, we are going to discuss about transmit and receive diversity. Contents of this video includes Introduction to transmit and receive diversity. Next, we are going to see about transmit diversity. The types of transmit diversity. The types of transmit diversity with CSI or closed loop transmit diversity where CSI is the channel state information. Next type is transmit diversity without CSI or open loop transmit diversity. This is implemented with delay diversity or phase sweeping diversity. After that we are going to discuss about receive diversity which is based on space diversity or spatial diversity. The types of receive diversity are selection diversity, feedback diversity, maximal ratio combining and equal gain combining. This is a MIMO system that is multiple input, multiple output system which uses diversity at both transmitter and receiver with two or more antennas. Multiple input, multiple output. MIMO and NR links are important because it obtains high spectral densities by dividing the incoming data into multiple substreams. Each substream is transmitted on different antenna and then the substreams are separated at the receiver. MIMO has resulted in improved capacity and bit error rate of the channel. Also MIMO signaling can improve wireless communication in two different ways. One is diversity methods and spatial multiplexing. Here we are going to see the diversity methods. Now we are going to discuss about diversity. Diversity refers to the existence of two or more signal paths that fade independently. By sufficiently separating in space, time, frequency or polarization, we can perform diversity. If several paths have channel coefficients that are statistically independent, they won't fade together. So, we can use the bus channel which have both high instantaneous signal to noise ratio and average signal to noise ratio. Now we are going to discuss about transmit diversity. Here multiple antennas are installed at the transmitter side. For the uplink transmission from the mobile station to the base station, multiple antennas can act as a receive diversity branches. For downlink, multiple antennas provide transmit diversity. Next, we are going to see about the types of transmit diversity. First one is transmit diversity with CSI or closed loop transmit diversity. CSI is the channel state information. In this type, the transmitter knows about the channel perfectly. Here, the channel information is obtained from the receiver as the feedback. Actually, there is a complete equivalence between the transmit diversity and receive diversity. There should be maximum ratio transmission to maximize the received signal to noise ratio. The MRT scheme linearly weights signals transmitted from different antenna elements with the complex conjugates of the channel transfer functions from the transmit antenna elements to the single receive antenna. Here, the choice of antenna weights can maximize the received SNR. Next type of transmit diversity is transmit diversity without CSI or open loop transmit diversity. In many cases, channel state information is not available at the transmitter. 
we then cannot simply transmit weighted copies of the same signal from different transmit antennas. So the transmission of signals from different antenna elements has to be done in such a way that it allows the receiver to distinguish different transmitted signal components. One way to implement this is delay diversity. An alternative method is phase sweeping diversity. In delay diversity, the signals are transmitted from different antenna elements or delayed copies of the same signal. In flat fading channel, actually we transmit data streams with a delay of one simple duration from each of the transmit antennas. The delay between the signal transmitted from different antenna elements should be at least as large as the maximum excess delay of the channel. In phase sweeping diversity, this method is useful if there are only two antenna elements. In that case, the same signal is transmitted from both antenna elements. One of the antenna signals undergoes a time varying phase shift. Here the received signals add up in a time varying way. Even if the transmitter receiver interfering elements are stationary, the signal does not remain stuck because of fading. If this scheme is combined with appropriate coding or interleaving, it improves the performance of the method. Now we are going to discuss about residue diversity. If you have watched the previous video on diversity, you can skip the remaining slides. In residue diversity, we are having one transmitting antenna and many receiving antennas. Receiver diversity is implemented using space or spatial diversity, where several antennas are separated in space. The types of receiver diversity are selection diversity, feedback diversity, maximal ratio combining, and equal gain combining, where this MRC and EGC are the diversity combining techniques. The first type of receiver diversity is selection diversity or switching diversity. Here we are having M modulators to provide M diversity branches whose gains are adjusted to provide the same average SNR for each branch. The receiver branch having the highest instantaneous SNR is connected to the D modulator. The antenna signals themselves could be sampled and the best one is sent to the single demodulator. Next type of receiver diversity is feedback diversity or scanning diversity. Scanning diversity is very similar to selection diversity except that instead of always using the best of M signals, M signals are scanned in a fixed sequence until one is found to be above a predetermined threshold. The signal is received until it falls below the threshold. The scanning process is again initiated. The resulting fading statistics are somewhat inferior to those obtained by other methods. This is very simple to implement. We need only one receiver. Next step of receiver diversity is maximal ratio combining. Here the signals from all the M branches are weighted according to their individual signal voltage to noise power ratios. Then they are summed. Here the individual signals must be co-phased before being summed. Generally requires an individual receiver and phasing circuit for each antenna element. Maximal ratio combining produces an output equal to the sum of the individual SNRs. This method produces an output with an acceptable SNR even when 
none of the individual signals are themselves acceptable next type of receiver diversity is equal gain combining in certain cases it is not convenient to provide the variable weighting capability required for true maximal ratio combining in such cases we are going to use this equal gain combining here the branch weights are set to unity but the signals from each branches are co-faced to provide equal gain combining diversity this allows the receiver to exploit signals that are simultaneously received on each branch the possibility of producing an acceptable signal from a number of unacceptable input is still retained performance is marginally inferior to the maximal ratio combining but superior to the selection diversity in this video we have discussed about transmit diversity and receive diversity and the types of transmit diversity that is transmit diversity with csi or closed loop transmit diversity transmit diversity without csi or open loop transmit diversity in receive diversity we have discussed about selection diversity feedback diversity maximal ratio combining and equal gain combining thank you for watching this video